All right, let's take a look at a segment proof. So now we're going to move over from algebraic into geometric. So remember, they're going to give us a diagram. They're going to give us some information. We're going to use that information to prove it. And really, we're just going to use our postulates, our definitions, and say, how do we know this stuff? All right, so here's a diagram we've been given, A, M, B, and D. We've been given that M is the midpoint of BD, and that B is the midpoint of MD. And we want to prove then that AM, segment AM, is congruent to segment BD. And you think, well, yes, I can do that. So let's start with what we were given. M is the midpoint of AB, B is the midpoint of segment MD, and that was given. Now the key is to look at the key words. What did they give us? They gave us midpoint. So now we can use the definition of midpoint, because that's what they gave us. Well, what is the defini mid definition of midpoint? Well, that it divides up that segment into two equal segments. So that means I can jump right here from AM is equal to MB, right? And I can say that MB is equal to BD. That was our definition of a midpoint. So let's write that down. We say that AM is equal to MB. And at the same time, we can say that MB is equal to BD. How do we know that? Well, that's the definition of a midpoint. Definition of midpoint. All right. Now remember, what are we trying to get to? We're trying to get that these things are congruent. Well, we can see by our tick marks they are, but we have to have a reason to go from here to here. So let's see. We have AM is equal to MB. We have MB equals BD. Wait a minute. That's in the right order. That's our transitive, right? If this equals to this, and this equals to this, then this equals to this, we can say AM is equal to BD. Why? Well, that's our transitive property. Okay, and you go, yes, we've proved that. Oh, no, we haven't. I wanted segment AM is congruent to segment BD. But wait a minute. Isn't that this definition? Can't we jump from here then and say segment AM is now congruent to segment BD? Because the definition says that if the, segments, the measures of the segments are equal, then the segments are congruent. That's the definition of congruent segments. And now I have proved what they've asked me to, so I put my finality box and voila, I've done my first segment proof. Now remember, use the definitions they've given you. Mark up your diagram so you can see what you know. Follow along, you will find that each step leads you to a new definition, a new property, or a new postulate until you get to what you need to at the end. And remember, you know you love math.